Good morning, collective. How you guys doing? So, quick energy check. We're going to see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, what you guys need to, to do or know. Some of you guys need to affirm, I accept my power. Okay. What does the beautiful soul try? Need to know at this time, divine. What does the beautiful soul try need to know at this time, divine? Show us the card we need to see, please, and thank you. Standing in your power, I'm hearing um, some of you guys. Hold on one second, collective. I'm recording. Oh, um, let's see. Ooh, first one out. You are your greatest work is your legendary legacy. So some of you guys are building your legacy right now. Okay, some of you guys are writing books. Some of you guys, you know, are just taking notes, you know. You're you're writing down those ideas. Spirit is saying your greatest work is your legendary legacy. The hero of your cosmic journey. The hero of your cosmic journey. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing this Ace of Swords here energy and this book. I feel like some of you guys may be called to write. Write about your path. Write about your journey. Write about, you know, your trials, your tribulations, your traumas. Um... You'd be surprised how many people have experienced the same thing you guys have experienced and need that motivation, that inspiration on how you pulled yourself up and out of this situ those situations, how you were able to heal through those traumas, those pains, those hurts, okay? Ten times out of ten, this is what our ancestors want us to do. To recognize how those pains, traumas, hurts can be our greatest asset in accepting our power and creating a legendary legacy for ourselves. Okay? How, you know, what other better way to do that than by through experiences, what we've experienced here on earth, right? Navigating by the stars. A lot of our ancestors before us, they've left testimonies, <laughs> books, in our libraries, quotes, you know. Um, they've showed us their path, their how they how they were able to navigate and find their bliss. Could you imagine being born in the time of our ancestors where there was no cars, there was no drills, no electronics, no power tools. Everything was chiseled with primary, um, you know, those little tools, the chisels. <laughs> Could you imagine having to talk about your hard labor? Like every day I woke up and I chiseled this left side of my brick mortar house and in 30 years, I was able to build this house with that little chisel. That's that's inspiring. Uh, I had to navigate, you know, like Harriet Tubman from, from Maryland all the way to Canada. And I made 18 trips by following the Northern Star. 
and I saved over 800 slaves by following the Northern Star. Like how? No maps, no nothing, no no road, no no car, and just you considered a runaway slave yourself, and you you went back 19, you made 19 trips back to where you were enslaved, and you were able to free over 800 people. Do you know how inspiring and motivation motivating that is? To know our ancestors were able and capable of doing that. And then we live in a world where we have everything accessible to us. And we have people who say, I can't do that. What? You know how disrespectful that is to our ancestors? <laughs> just imagine this, guys. Let's just be real right now. Let's just be real. Harriet Tubman was a very inspirational, inspirational, powerful, motivational woman. She had one dream. She believed in one thing and she allowed herself to be navigated by the stars. Discovering her truth. And that's what you guys are doing. You're not following the 9,000 people that are following the same thing. Oh, because the masses believes it, it must be true. No. How about you follow what your own heart and intuition is telling you? You know? You stand in the light of your own truth. There's a sword here, sword here. I'm not going to do. I'm not going where these people are going. See this conductor right here? He's guiding these people over there, this mountain. Yep, you gotta go all the way up there. Look at how hard and treacherous that looks. They're like, up there? What? That, this person is there to scare them. Why I gotta go through all those mountains? With killer bees and wildebeest and whatever other, you know, frightened, crazy animals out there? No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I was watching a documentary on Harriet Tubman. Like, guys, in the beginning of my journey, I had this very strong connection with her. And when I went to Amsterdam, there was this cemetery I used to look at at nighttime. And there was this one little light that would turn on every other couple of days. And I'm like, where did that light come from? And it used to remind me of Harriet Tubman on how she navigated and how the pe the Underground Railroad, how those people would leave the little light on to let um, the conductors and the people who were helping the slaves know that that's a safe spot, a safe place for them to stop and, and, and sleep for the night. The, the rainbow prince, compensation, perseverance. That lady traveled so far, so wide, and she persevered. She just had it. And it's so crazy, like, just listening to her documentary. She had the willpower. She didn't, she said, and don't quote me on this, she said something like, there was either two things for me, freedom, liberty, or death. And if I couldn't have one, I knew I'd have the other. They were both free to her. Even in death was freedom to her. The spirit whisper. Divine guidance, higher knowing. She knew she was being guided by the divine. And God was guiding her through her visions on how to how to how to escape these people. She did 19 trips and freed almost 800 people, over 800 people. This little lady, she was 4 411. Couldn't read, write, nothing. Just with a hope and a dream and a and a faith and navigating by the northern star. 
higher knowing, divine guidance. That's her. That was her. She knew she was being guided. She had a higher purpose. She knew she needed to free these people. And your book or whatever this thing is that you're creating can help free other people, Spirit is saying. It's never too small. Your story is never too small. Your story is never too small. How can it be? One day somebody will get that book off the library and it'll guide them. One day that book will fall into the arms of the person who needs to hear it the most and it will guide them. Gaia's garden, fru fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. This is true abundance. Those seeds you plant, that legacy you leave behind, that sort of truth. You ain't got to lie to me. You ain't got to. God knows your heart. You could sit here and say, I didn't do that. God seen what you did. He heard your every little thought. He knew why you did what you did before you did it. You could say, I didn't mean to do it because of that. But he knew what your intention was at that exact moment. You can sit here and bold-faced lie to me, lie to everybody else. But you can't lie to the divine. He knows your heart. And when you do things coming from a loving heart space, that's when this abundance comes in. What does that saying say? When you're being judged in front of the divine, you're being weighed. Your heart must be light as a feather. Do you know how light that is, a feather? Let's think about it, collective. Let's think about this. This is a feather. This weighs nothing. It's nothing. Your heart is being weighed on the scales of judgment as a feather with another fe well, a feather on the side. If your heart, if this feather goes up and your heart, that scale where your heart is at goes down, that's not good. God knows your heart. He knows your heart. He knows every single thought, every private little thought in your private little room, while you're in your private little house, having your private little conversations and, you know, your manipulations, manipulation tactics, the reason why you do this to get that reaction, the reason why you manipulate people and try to, you know, whatever this is, he knows exactly what you're doing. <clears throat> this is why God guided Harriet Tudman. Because he knew her heart was pure. It was for service. It was not selfless. What am I going to get out of it? It was to help free people that were enslaved. And through that, he helped her free her mother, her father, her sisters, her brothers. She's known worldwide. This lady is history. Her last sleeping grounds is history. You could go to Maryland and you could go visit Harriet Tubman's house. They have a whole monument, everything over there of her. You could go see her gravesite. This is how inspiring she is. You could see the trail she walked. All because of a dream, all because she knew she was being guided by the divine. Her legacy lives on, and it's inspiring to many, many people. And when you know your path, you know your path. Nobody could deter you from your path, not even this person right here. Look at this person misguiding people. But you you know where your, God is guiding you. You're like, I'm not going that way. Oh, everybody's going that way? Then I'm, a, I'm going this way because I can't follow people. I need to follow God. That's the problem when we start following other people. 
Oh, because everybody else says it or does it or, or is doing it. It must be right. No, it must not. Then that that's the red flag. When you see everybody else doing it, that's the red flag. That's what you should know. Like, uh-uh, something's going on here. The masses is following that. It must be wrong. It has to be wrong. I just posted something on my TikTok channel. Very, very true because it is so crazy because last night I did a reading, a reading about this. Idolizing celebrities, wanting to be other people, having their life, wishing that you could have what they have. We should never be doing that. We should be grateful even through trials and tribulations. Thank you, God, because through this, through me losing my home, through me losing my relationship, through me losing my job, I'm building tenacity. I'm building courage, perseverance. You're showing me how strong I am through all this. Cycles of growth. I could never make this up. I feel like I'm talking about totally like two different things here. Somebody here is definitely being navigated to walk their path and not to follow other people. That's where true abundance is. I don't care if 10,000 people went to Times Square to, to go drink and celebrate the New Year's. Just because they do it doesn't mean I have to do it. What if I want to be home and, and sleep in? What if, you know, I don't care. Oh, people may call you boring. Oh, well, then you're boring to them. What's boring mean? What does that mean? What boring means to one person doesn't mean it's boring to another. That might, to that person that wants to stay home, that might mean peace. Because I don't want to get up in the morning with a headache and a hangover. I'm boring 1717 as I just said that. Because I know that when I'm in groups of people, nothing great happens. It's either an argument, people talking shit, old shit being brought up, um, fights, shots, gunshots, you know, people drunk. You know, so many shit happens. Do you see what's going on around the world? January 1st of 2024. All around the world, there was earthquakes, not only in Japan and China. There was 19 different locations worldwide, Puerto Rico. Nineteen earthquakes, January 1st of 2024. All around the world, the ground was shaking beneath us. It was not one or two earthquakes. There were 19 different globally, all around the world. That says a lot. 19, I think there was um, um, Puerto Rico, China, Japan, um, Arkansas, Montgomery, I think um, there were so many that were close. Even New York City felt the earthquake. Do you know how scary that is? But people are so focused in on the illusion of getting the money, the fame, the clout, the whatever. Hanging out, taking the best pictures. Who got the best bottles, you know. 19. Yeah, people are so blind. Look, I can never make this up. Thank you, spirit. People are walking around blinded. They might have slept through this because they were too busy drinking the night before.
Yep. Too busy getting drunk the night before. I can never make this up. Now I'm talking about another topic here. I feel like I'm being... There's multiple people I'm talking to. Multiple groups of people. That's right. Confidence. Queen of Wands is a motivator. She's confident. She's passionate. She's creative. She is the strength. She is the sun. She fuels what her soul is calling for. She's moving forward. She's a go-getter. She's a hustler. She doesn't sit. She starts those projects. She overcomes fear. She follows her true desires and passions. And that was me. January 1st, 2024, 11.30, I was knocked out in bed. Maybe earlier than that. I was sleeping. All, I, all of a sudden, I heard firecrackers. I was like, what? It was, sounds so loud. Right, like, right next to my window. I was like, what? What is that? Hold on, collective. Mm -hmm. Sorry, collective. Yep. The old me would have been out there getting drunk, hanging out with groups of people that didn't like me. But I was still taking pictures with them. <laughs> I was still taking pictures of these people, with these people. They envied, they were jealous, they were ugh of me. I left my past behind and I moved forward confidently. And for some of you guys, this is what you're being called to do. Your greatest work is your legendary legacy. What is the legacy you guys gonna leave behind? What is the legacy? Too many cards for it. What is it that you're going to leave behind? Hmm? Be courageous and follow your passions. Move forward. Whatever those creative ideas, those projects that you're getting, move forward on it. Because that's going to be the legendary legacy you leave behind. That's your cosmic journey. You're being called to navigate by the stars. Discover your own truth. Because by discovering your own truth, there's a rainbow of blessings. You persevere through that. You're being divinely guided. I can never make this up. Archangel Michael is here. Could be talking to an earth angel. You're being protected, guided. Some of you guys, it's those hidden three of swords that you're being called to write about. That's where you're going to help other people out. It's going to be worldwide. You're going to be called to help other people figure out how to heal, how to go through this process. Be confident. Yeah, because this is who the fuck you are, baby. I could literally be talking to an earth angel here. Queen of Wands, Temperance, Empress, Energy. Put the work in. Start crafting. Start mastering your craft. And watch how 
the things start aligning for you. It's a beautiful thing. I can never make it up. This is what I have for you guys. Okay? Love and light.